Now you may have seen um, other tutorials throughout this course and also on All Things Photography where we try and attempt to get rid of colour casts. Now colour casts appear when you're in certain lighting situations when shooting digitally. You'll sometimes notice a red or yellow cast as in the situation with this shot you're seeing now. Um, this has a kind of reddish yellowish cast to it um, and really it happens even if you're using flash like we were in this case sometimes the flash reflects off a difficult coloured ceiling or wall uh, maybe there's a strong kind of fluorescent light in the in the room that kind of thing but really the the idea of this is quickly to show you how to remove that colour cast and the, also to show you the benefits of shooting raw you've probably learned this already but I'll just show you very quickly we're in digital photo professional at the moment and the first thing I'm going to do I'm in the raw setting here I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and a quick tip for you you normally have to find a, a grey area to use the eyedropper tool with it's like using a grey card but it's a quick way of adjusting in raw I normally use the teeth use the the uniform part of the teeth if it's someone smiling or in the eye but the teeth are great if you watch this we're just going to left click on one of the teeth and instantly you've got rid of the color cast and it's all gone back to its normal natural colors and you can now just increase the saturation slightly and bring up the normal colors so you can see straight away that's gone from that huge color cast I'll do that again select the eyedropper tool click on a tooth or another uniform gray piece of uh, scenery and then we'll just increase the saturation a little bit and you've immediately got a pretty good photo that's maybe a bit too much saturation so that is it in uh, DPP especially if you're shooting raw it's fantastic if you're not shooting raw you won't have the ability to do this here so that's just a tip shoot raw use that in DPP and select the teeth you can see how much whiter they've gone okay so that's that we're now in Lightroom and you can do pretty much the same thing if you look over here we've got the treatment tools and here is the white balance selector click on that and pull it out of its palette and once again very simple go to the teeth or another grey bit of the the image and there you go it's as simple as that when you're shooting raw you've got rid of that color cast you can see immediately that it's all gone back to normal let's just do that again there's the color cast select the tool click on the tooth and the color cast is gone and then again we just need to increase saturation slightly maybe a bit of vibrance in Lightroom and almost immediately you've got an, Im uh, an image that doesn't need much more adjusting to it so very very simple and again if it was a JPEG it'd be a lot tougher to do and just to prove that point here's the JPEG that I've actually taken from the raw image you've just seen and loaded into Photoshop so this is a JPEG we're, we're working on a non raw image now and to do this the only way I found um, to actually get rid of this color cast is going to image adjustments color balance or control B if you're using a PC and then you've got the color balance tools here you can select the shadows midtones or highlights I normally work on the midtones and highlights because the shadows kind of deepens the image too much then all we do is take away some of the red by shifting this slider slightly and then increase the blue and lose the yellow cast and then the highlights we do the same shift the yellow over uh, sorry the the red slider to kill some of the red and then the blue towards the blue away from the yellow and you can see it's not brilliant you've got rid of some of the cast because the the teeth and the dress and the wall behind have lost that kind of yellowy orangey glow but we've lost a bit of detail in the highlights here um, and it's not quite as good as when we saw the the other two here we've retained the highlights and got a much more pleasing look to it uh, with there's still a touch of a cast there and the more you adjust these the more you're going to blow out the highlights so it really is a reason to shoot raw if you're not shooting raw yet learn how to do it and if you get a color cast use one of the other two methods in Lightroom or digital photo professional or actually whatever raw processing software you use the chances are it will have an eyedropper tool where you can correct the the color cast from a raw image so I hope that helps just uh, learn to shoot raw and just practice with those and your white balance problems will be hopefully sorted